Here we are in our second episode of Spring Seedling Establishment of this lawn. And in the first episode, we really talked about how we get that seed cut into the lawn. And we can generally apply those methods to both the spring and fall seeding. And the trick to making uh, seeding in the spring successful is really how we manage those seedlings in the springtime. And so what we did is first, we seeded. Then after we seeded, I went out with a herbicide Roundup and I sprayed out the lawn. So the entire lawn, the Kentucky bluegrass that was there was gonna die. Uh, and it won't affect that tall fescue seed because it only works on green leaves. And then we also added a herbicide called uh, Tenacity or Mesotrione. And that provides some pre-emergence application to help keep those summer weeds from germinating, which is a big reason why our spring seedings fail. So we did that application right after we seeded and it worked out really well. The grass went from you know green and it slowly died. And then as that grass died, we had nice germinating tall fescue seedlings. And so we had this nice seamless transition from one grass to the other grass. We uh, then proceeded to water that turf. And because it's tall fescue, it's a large seed, uh, I watered about three times a day, uh, and for large seed, you want to water a little bit uh, higher amount and a little bit less frequent. If it's Kentucky bluegrass seed, which is smaller, you want to water a couple extra times a day, but for a shorter duration because those small seeds dry out a little bit quicker, and so, but they also re-wet really quick. So we did that. The seed germinated in about 10 days, which is fantastic for the spring seeding, and then uh, we just watched it grow. Uh, we also applied a starter fertilizer, which is a fertilizer that has a high middle number on that NPK. And so we made that application as soon as that seed germinated, right when the uh, seed needed that fertilizer, the uh, fertilizer was there for it. And uh, we'll continue to reapply that fertilizer about every two weeks until the grass is, is, is fully mature. Then the question is, when do we start to, to mow? And a lot of homeowners, when they do seeding in the spring or the fall, they wait too long for that first mowing. You really want to get that first mowing done as soon as it's uh, at a height that you want to mow at. So if I want to mow at three inches, when that grass gets a little bit above three inches, I want to start mowing. You may not see it, think it does very much, but actually it's really important because it makes that grass start to mature and put out new leaves, and that's what's going to densen up our yard. We don't want to let it get to like six inches and then scalp it down. That puts a lot of stress on those seedlings, and then they can die later on. And so now we're going to continue some frequent mowing, and we'll do a follow-up application with tenacity here. Uh, now it's been about a month, uh, just to kind of really uh, help with uh, any weeds that might have popped up and, and add some more pre-emergence activity for our summer annual, uh, like crabgrass. Uh, and so we'll do these steps. We'll dial our irrigation back as the seeds become more and more. Now it's about a month, and so we don't uh, irrigate anymore, uh, just once a day. And uh, you know that grass will mature out and, and be great. And so, you know, using these steps, we can make uh, spring seeding successful.